Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I wanted to show you an experiment where I grew these lion's mane mushrooms in complete darkness and without any electricity. I didn't turn on the humidity system or the exhaust system. I also didn't use any temperature regulation. To start the experiment from the beginning, I used one of my lion's mane liquid culture syringes to inoculate four three pound bags of sterilized rye grain. I like to use these adhesive injection ports and I wipe them down with alcohol before inoculation. If you don't already know how to make your own sterilized rye grain, I'll leave a video link in the description below. Or you can just buy some pre-made sterilized bags from someone online. I used around 2 to 3 milliliters of the liquid culture per bag. After all the bags have been inoculated, I rotate them to let the liquid spread around the grain bag so it colonizes more evenly. I set the grain bags on a shelf in a room that was around 75 degrees Fahrenheit and let the mycelium grow. After 10 days, the mycelium has covered around 25% of the bag, so I break it up to distribute the mycelium so it colonizes faster. After breaking up the grain, I let it sit back on the shelf in 75 degrees Fahrenheit for another two weeks. I actually used one of these colonized grain bags to inoculate 12 more grain bags using grain to grain transfer technique, but I lost the landscape footage and I have a recent short video of the process though. Once the grain bags are all fully colonized, the next step was to make sawdust substrate. So I measured 5 cups of hardwood fuel pellets, 1 cup of wheat bran, and 5.5 and cups of hot water and mixed them together in a bucket. This is my favorite substrate that I use for most of the gourmet mushrooms that I grow. After the hot water expanded the wood pellets for a few minutes, I mixed it up and transferred the substrate to a filter patch bag.
The easiest way I found to add the substrate to the filter patch bag was to dump it into this six quart bin and then insert the bin into the filter patch bag and then empty the substrate. Then I sterilized the substrate in a pressure cooker at 15 PSI for two hours. Once the pressure cooker cooled down, I removed the bags and used an impulse sealer to seal them twice. Once all of the grain spawn and substrate was ready, I proceeded to add each of the colonized grain bags to four substrate bags. This part should be done in front of a laminar flow hood or at least inside of a still air box to make sure that the working area is clean. You can check out my recent video tutorial for building the flow hood which I'll leave a link for in the description. I ended up making around 30 fruiting blocks which I incubated at 75 degrees Fahrenheit for 2 to 3 weeks until they were fully colonized and showing signs of growth. I transferred the fruiting blocks to a grow tent and sliced the sides with some clean scissors. I checked on the blocks every few days, only turning the light on briefly to document.
After about seven days in the grow tent, I started to notice the lion's mane growing through the slices. I was pretty surprised at how perfect the fruiting bodies were in these conditions, and I'm always happy to find a cheaper, easier way to do things. It was in the middle of October in Michigan and temperatures were pretty cold at night around 40 degrees Fahrenheit and but some of the days in the afternoon was 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope this experiment will help those of you who don't want to set up a fancy humidity system, lighting system, or air system. Mushrooms in nature survive all kinds of adverse conditions, so we can use that to our advantage. Looks like a heart. Yes, yeah, Looks really good. Yep. And we can just, we'll get, it's like a waterfall. Look at that. <laughs> Cascading tendrils. It's beautiful. Browned and then make another slice and get another flush. First harvest. You do a thumbnail. Wow. Yeah, I think this strain is really good. We'll have to weigh this. It ended up being around 30 pounds fresh. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, or you can join the Discord community, which I'll have a link for in the description. All grown, all grown in complete darkness, no humidity, no air exchange other than opening the tent. And the light was only on when I would check on it every couple days. Other than that, it was complete darkness. I basically just had this tent I didn't turn on the humidity system and uh, I wasn't running the exhaust or anything and it's like <clears throat> basically the second half of October in Michigan still. Very impressive without using any electricity. So these were grown with no electricity, just a grow tent basically. So. And I'd say they are perfect. Some of these, the younger ones will be better for eating. And then the really old ones, well not old, but the ones with longer tendrils are good for uh, medicinal extracts. But I would only eat the ones that are younger like this. So that's all of them. Nice. Here we go.
heavy. Look at all those lion's mane. This is a successful experiment growing lion's mane in complete darkness with no humidity system running, no exhaust system running. Um, I only turn the lights on to like check on them every few days and harvest. Um, the It was the middle of October in Michigan, so the temperature outside was between 50 and 70. Yeah, it was about between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and like 65, 70 degrees outside. So that was good enough. We'll turn these blocks around and make another slice right here, or you can do it on the bottom and another, another fruit will grow from it. So later on today, I'll come out here and cut the other side of these. And, but for now, we will go process, we're going to go process these lion's mane probably in a dehydrator and probably prepare some to eat and give to some friends and family. But that's pretty heavy. Also, I wanted to, I'm going to probably weigh it to see how much we got. But all in all, this was a fun experiment because I didn't have to run any electricity. Alrighty.